we could ice skate. That's fun too. to build a snowman. You will find all the parts you need in the snow. These will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I think these will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please!
Oh my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh no, there's rubbish on the ground. We should put it in the rubbish bin. Got one. Come and sit at the chair if you want to help with the pie. Here. Are you two having fun? Yes, Mummy! What are you doing? I'm making raspberry pie. Yummy! Do you want to help? Great! I need someone to squish all these raspberries. Do you think you can do that? Mummy Pig needs your help to squish the raspberries for her raspberry pie. Try squishing them as fast as you can. Excellent. Now let's finish the pie. Ready? Who would like a piece? Me, me, me! Enjoy! Always nice to see you. Let's go, let's go. We're going to be late. Don't worry, Pepper. The cruise ship is going to wait for us. What do you think? Are you ready to choose another trip? to Germany. My name is Clemens Cow. And this is my mummy. Hello, sir. I'm Frau Cow. Hello. I'm Peggy. This is my family. And my new friend. We can show you around our town if you want. Of course. Thank you. This place looks beautiful. This is the Christmas market. There are plenty of things to do here. We have a huge Christmas tree in the middle. You have to go see it. Well, it's a little chilly though. Is there somewhere we can warm up a bit? Sure. You can come to my stall if you want to drink some hot chocolate. There's also a train that goes to the theme park. You just need to keep walking this way. Ooh, a theme park! Can we go, please? Oh, oh, oh. of course, Pepper. But why don't you try that hot chocolate first? Wants to decorate the tree. 
take a look at the market stalls to find Christmas decorations. in it into the pot until it's empty. To stop for the kids who are waiting to get on the train. Would you like to help pick them up? Okay. It's time to go to the theme park. Make the train move forward on its rails. Help the engineer by stopping when you see passengers waiting to get on. back to pick them up. to take the train anytime you want. The theme park is this way. Follow me. Be careful. Whilst 
sliding, you can try going faster. to ride again. Okay. <gasps> Look! I think some toys have escaped from the stall. Are you sure? That's impossible. There! There! Oh, you're right. We have to find them. They can't have gone very far. We will find them. We are good at finding things. <gasps> the toys have escaped. Take a look around the theme park and bring them back to the store. What are all these toys doing here? For the help, I knew I could count on you. Don't get lost again, toys. <laughs> 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 it's getting a bit late. We can't stay any longer, or it will get too cold. We've had so much fun. <laughs> you have to come back and visit us again. We will. It's been a pleasure having you here today. But Pepper, trains need tracks to run on. Time to go back home and warm up. The museum. Wow, that looks. 
looks really old. Dinosaur! Not quite that old, George. Dinosaur? Mmm, it looks very nice. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty and you can have anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, Your Majesties? Yes, we want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. I'm sure you would make a great Queen Pepper. It's a real dinosaur, one that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur! Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train! Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one... Blast off! All oh, right then. Does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one. The Earth. Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth. We also have Venus, Mars, Neptune. Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. <gasps> the moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Whee! Try it out. Strap in and jump up.
It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please. Peppa's house. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Let's make a sand castle. First, put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over and then lift it off. Ta-da! And now, you can knock it down. I love sandcastles. will be so worried that he's missing. Yes, but how do we do that? It's too high up. Let's get Madame Gazelle. She'll know what to do. Madame Gazelle will know what to do to get Tiddles the tortoise back down from the tree. Let's find her in the classroom. We need 
to do something. Hang on, Tiddles! We're going to get you down in no time. Oh, impossible. It's too high for me. Pepper, why don't you and your friend go and find me a ladder so I can climb up the tree and rescue Tiddles? There's a ladder right outside the playgroup. Help Pepper find the ladder so Madame Gazelle can use it to get Tiddles down. Let's go this way. Down, shall we? There you go, Tiddles. No more climbing today. Hooray! I'll call Dr. Hamster and tell her Tiddles is safe. Thank you all. You did a wonderful job. Now, let's make sure Tiddles doesn't climb up again. Tiddles? Gone again! Oh, Tiddles! <laughs> <laughs> Good job! Now Tiddles is safe and everyone is having a great time. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Pepper's house. I see you have a new friend. You can visit more often. <laughs> you can visit more often. <laughs> what are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <sighs> you did a great <laughs> job helping Madame Gazelle bring Tiddles the Tortoise down from that tree in the playground. Like Mr. Potato, <laughs> Pepper does. Super Potato, he is the power of vegetables. Have you been to Potato City? <laughs> I really want to go. <laughs> oh, would you mind turning it back on so I can read? <laughs> Oh. 
Pepper, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful. I see. Well, so are you, Pepper. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come. Daddy Pig, didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes, well... I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Potato City, the place to explore and have fun and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City. Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes. Have you come to explore? Yes, yes. You come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day. Um, yes. Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun. Remember to visit the whole park. There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see. All right then, run along children, have fun. I think I'll skip this one. Okay. Ready? Here we go! Definitely skip the second round. <laughs> Ooh, you're a carrot! Ooh, you're a carrot! <laughs> you're a tomato now! Wow, a pumpkin! <laughs> <laughs> Well, your friend has been with us for quite some time now. Yes, quite some time indeed. And you've been to so many places together. You've been to our house. <sighs> and you've been to our house. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Of course. We even went to the beach together. We found many things in the rock pool. Rock pool! Rock pool! And to the forest. You helped poor Tiddles the tortoise in the playground. Hooray! And we went all the way up Snowy Mountain. I took you there. And to the museum. Did you enjoy our trip to the moon? I always do. I've been seeing you running around the town for some time now. It's always nice to see new faces. <laughs> uh -oh. We got a good view of the whole town from Windy Castle, too. What a lovely view it was. 
And I'm happy to have met you now that you've come here to Potato City. Well, I've had a lot of fun, thanks to you. You're my friend forever. Friend forever. Friend forever. <laughs> 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 Ah, there you are. <laughs>